this episode, talk about the strategies you should use for budgeting where you spend your money to improve your video. I just want to present a very quick idea to you that hopefully would be helpful for you. I've been thinking a lot lately uh, about where to invest my money in terms of getting the best video. And I think one thing that I certainly have overlooked up until this point and many of us overlook is that really we have a tendency, I know I certainly do, to want to invest most of our money in cameras and getting obsessed with cameras and always looking for the newest camera. Um, but in terms of getting a good quality visual or a good quality video overall, I think one of the most important things to consider actually is lighting. Let me tell you why. Here's an example. In this case, I'm shooting this video with a $250 five-year-old camera. It is a, just a cheap Sanyo video camera. I don't think Sanyo even makes video cameras anymore. It was not awesome when I bought it. It's still not awesome today. The only thing that's important about it is that it has manual controls for exposure and for focus and for white balance. If you've got those things in your camera, then really I think the best thing you can do in terms of improving the look of your video is investing in decent lighting. Now, I'm not using the most amazing lighting here even. This is pretty good, but not, but not amazing. It's a $200 e-photo compact fluorescent softbox kit. So I've got one light here, one behind me, and then one up, up above. So really pretty straightforward. Um, just something to think about. Consider investing more of your money in lighting because then you can get away with less camera. Again, it's going to depend on the type of shooting you're doing. And this also applies to people that shoot primarily outdoors. Even if you're shooting outdoors, you've got to think about your lighting design. And that could be all reflectors if you're doing it all during the day. But you may also need to consider lighting, you know, actually introducing some sort of lighting even in those situations if you really want to up the production values on your video. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for checking out the show and we'll talk to you again soon. Mm -hmm.